Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warrior Cats Behind the Paws special. And we are actually here getting ready to finally make some of your guys' original character Warrior Cat suggestions. I have been really looking forward to doing this and finally all of the weddings and the chaos of the last month aside, we have wrapped up the first season of our Warrior Cats challenge. It has been an amazing adventure and has helped our community grow like never before and I am really excited to start creating original cats that are based off of your guys characters and your guys designs to add into our world. In case you aren't sure what the heck I'm talking about you definitely want to check the last warrior cats behind the paws which is a very special little playlist that we have. Oh look at the kittens they're coming to play oh my gosh they're so cute but we have a behind the paws playlist that explains what kind of mods we use. We'll even talk about how we try to set up our random generators, how we change our random generators, how we make the game more exciting and more interesting for us to play. And that also is where we talk about adding your guys' cats into our, our entire world. And the way that works is that all of the community-based original character cats, I will use a random generator to pick from. We will create those cats and we will add them in as non-playable character cats to our world. So they'll go into lots that are not related to Moss Clan, not related to Branch Clan, and not related to our new third clan whose name you guys don't know oh just yet but that doesn't mean that you can make a cat specifically for moss clan branch clan or the other clans it's going to be a kind of like side character cat that may or may not show up in the series we're going to put them in the world and just see if the game has us bump into that cat and if they do show up in the series they may end up becoming a friend or an enemy or a possible mate they may end up uh, joining one of the clans or maybe having kids hits with one of our clan cats. Who knows? They might end up enemies and you have to be okay with that being what could possibly happen to your character if you are going to submit a character idea. I'm going to let the game and the random generators decide what happens and just kind of look at the cat's personality. We're going to assign the different original character cats to different areas. They'll be able to become strays. They might be uh, rogues, so they might be a little tougher. They might be city cats. They might be kitty pets. They'll have different groups that they're part of and their personalities will kind of be determined by what group they're in and how we interact with them. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be adding a few cats in every week. So if you're wondering, Siri, when are you going to add my cat in? Guys, check out the comments in the last video. There were almost over 2,000 suggestions. Two thousand suggestions with usually multiple cats suggested per comment for the cats we could add in. I'm going to base it almost completely off of the random generator and just use that to pick and every week I will try to make at least I'm hoping three cats maybe as many as four or five depending on how quickly we're able to whip them together and eventually I do want to have our website up and going so that you guys will be able to download all of the cats that we create in our behind the paws series as your guys' original characters and add them into your Warrior Cats challenge. So there's a lot we're going to do with that. So enough with the rambling and we're going to dive in and start creating cats in just a second. I have a list of a few cats that have been picked by the random generator, but I just want to remind you guys, if you would like to submit your cat to become possibly one of the cats to join our world, then all you have to do is leave a comment. Try to leave one comment per cat because it makes it easier for me to organize when I'm using the random generator, and it actually gives you a higher chance of one of your cats being picked. If you put all of your cats into one comment, then there's a chance that like that won't be the one that's picked because you have less of a, a sliver in the random generator if that makes sense but if you put multiple cats in multiple comments that's totally fine we'll look through all of the traits you can check the previous behind the pause episode on original cat editions to figure out what all of the different traits in the warrior cats challenge are and uh you'll get to see how we kind of put them together here but you also have to be okay go back and read those rules you have to be okay with the cats being possibly changed once they get put into our game and you have to understand that there's a chance even if we create your cat they may not 
not show up in the game because they disappear within the game somehow. And again, you can't submit cats that are meant specifically for the clan's maid. These are meant to be side characters that could possibly become reoccurring characters or even main characters given enough time. So all of that rambling aside, just so that I can hopefully clear the air for a lot of you guys, because I know there's a lot of confusion there, let's go ahead and start making our very first of the brand new original character warrior cat submitted by you guys. All right, guys, here we go. I am so excited. We are going to be going over the cats that were selected from Random Generator and Mod Suggestions in order to create some of your characters to add into our world. You've heard all the spiel about how it works. You've heard all the spiel about the rules. Be sure to check the comment section for the rules pinned at the top too, just to make sure everything is nice and clear. If you have submitted a cat in the past, you are more than welcome to copy paste and resubmit that cat for this video, or you could just go ahead I'll pull from some of the old videos from time to time as well. So don't worry with over like, like I said, over 2000 suggestions. Holy moly, there's a lot of kitties. I don't think my Sims 3 game would be able to handle it, but we'll be playing our Warrior Cats challenge for probably years to come. So there's plenty of cats to create. And like I said, all of these cats will be available for download when I get our Pixel Biology website up and going. So keep your eyes out for that because even if they don't show up in my game, they will become available to anyone to download and add into their game. And you might have a uh, flurry of kittens running through many people a warrior cats challenge as a result. So this very first cat that was actually picked is actually a cat duo and I don't know how often we'll do duos so this will probably be the one exception just to allow things to be kind of started off with a big bang but it was picked from Jacqueline McBurg's suggestion and she had a really fun story for a brother and sister pair. We have Soot and Shade and they're a litter mate duo. Their background Soot and Shade came from a long line of poorly bred Ojos Azuls, mistreated and awfully kept by the irresponsible breeder who sells them to eager pet shops at blown up prices. Their breed is treasured for their striking blue eyes that all Ojos Azuls, and I'm probably saying that terribly wrong, I apologize, I've actually never heard of these awesome cats, carry and allows the breeder to manipulate buyers into paying more despite the unkept conditions. So it was born to a litter before shade and grew up in the hard conditions and lack of care for all of his kithood. When the next litter of his mother's was born, and old enough to walk independently, he plucked up the courage to take the runt, Shade, under his paw, and make a break for it into the woods a fair ways behind the breeder's house. Many moons have passed since then, and the life of a stray is proving more difficult than Soot thought it would be. Shade grows skinnier by the day, and Soot constantly worries for her health. Hearing the fabled rumors of clan cats living and prospering in the heart of the wild by fellow wanderers in passing, and knowing that he can't provide for Shade the way he originally planned to, Soot has begrudgingly pushed aside his untrusting nature and decided to seek out these elusive clans for the sake of his young sister. And I thought that was a really fun story. So thank you so much, Jacqueline and Mikaburg. I've seen you in the comment section quite often, so it was very fun that one of, uh, one of the ones picked was you. But we're going to be able to make Soot and Shade now, you guys. So we're going to create those two, and we are going to see if we can get those striking blue eyes. That's the first thing that kind of leapt out at me on Soot here. So let's go ahead. We need a Boykid Cat and we are going to name him Soot Stray because he has become a stray cat. He is a former kitty pet and he is going to have a younger sister. We'll say that Shade is just into apprentice age. So she'll probably be this size because we can't make kittens and create a sim. However, we will say that she's very, very young and that she is uh, possibly the perfect age for being an apprentice. And we happen to have a clan or two that's in desperate need of new females, if you remember. So we might actually actively start seeking out out some of these cats that you guys submit because I need to get uh, our clans a little bit um, less related if you can't tell. All right, so Soot. And then Soot's description, dark mottled gray coat with black socks, black tipped ears, and a white chest. So, hmm, he has a large, long, regal body that appears more thin and lanky due to being malnourished, yet still manages to retain his daunting size. Medium length fur with a tremendously fluffy tail. Soot is highly reserved and 
Uh, when one does manage to get a word out of him, the response is usually curt and straight to the point. So it will completely disregard small talk and won't deem any stranger cat worthy of his time until they have earned his fickle trust. But otherwise displays a large amount of patience, especially for kits. Ooh, he might make a good mentor. Soot is limited in his ability to hunt, being self-taught and having only been a wanderer for a few moons. And his traits are independent. So let's go ahead and add that in. He definitely seems very independent genius and then adventurous so those should make for a, uh, a cat that hopefully will be able to adapt to the wildlife pretty well and let's give him a deep voice there we go so a nice deep voice and let's start creating soot then you guys and we're going to start with the eyes because he's supposed to have really striking striking blue eyes so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see just how beautiful we can make the eyes on this guy all right let's see Ooh, that's actually really cool to do kind of like a teal background. I'm not sure if that's exactly like the kind of blue that he's supposed to have, but let's go for it because that looks pretty cool with a darker blue shade. All right, what if I try this? There we go. It's fun to make some kitty cats in. There we go. That's actually more green. And then let's go for more blue tone here to make sure we're keeping it that beautiful blue. Wow, that's a nice teal. Okay, let's turn you a little bit more blue. All right, that's actually really cool. I don't think that's the right shade of blue for the type of cat, but that is exceptionally striking. And that should make some, for some really beautiful kittens. So we'll start there and then let's go ahead and see what his full body is going to be. So he's supposed to be a medium length fur and he's a large, long regal body. So let's see. Would that be... Oh, your head, you got a little bit small. Too small. Too small soot. I think he's got a pretty good body, but let's check. We can just scale his chest long and lengthy. I think we'll, like, make his chest a little bit smaller because that kind of adds to the lanky look. We'll make his neck a little longer and we'll pull in his stomach a little bit because he's supposed to be super thin right now. So that gives him that long, lanky look, kind of. There we go. Yeah. I think that'll do. Wonderful. And then we, let's see, anything else? Medium length fur with a feathered tail. So let's see if we can add that in. It's very rare that I go through a too much detail with Creatism uh, with the cats, but it's really fun. All right, buddy. I've got to give you a big fluffy tail. So let's see if I can pull that off somehow. All right, there's that one. There's that fur. We might have to go, I think this fur pattern will do because you have to pick the the whole fur type. Oh, well, that one's fluffy, but it's a little bit, well, you know, I like the chest actually. So what do you think? Ooh, you guys, I think this one makes him look really handsome. So we'll go with this one. And then let's go ahead and change up his facial patterns, like change up how he looks. So he is dark mottled gray coat. That might be kind of, this one might be good for that. Modeled gray, modeled gray. We might use one of these as a good base. This might work. I think this would work for a dark modeled gray. And then he has black socks. So let's go into advanced mode and we are going to give Soot his black socks. So let's turn him. Are you gonna have black socks on every foot, my friend? All right, now he has white socks. I wonder how tall we should make the socks. Maybe this tall? All right. and. Oh, that's really handsome, actually. All right. And then you can actually go ahead and just copy the layer. But then what we'll do is we will change which foot it goes on. Ta-da! All right, let's make it a little bit lower. Do you think black socks... I wonder if we should make it a little bit lighter, like gray? Hmm. Yeah, let's make it a little bit lighter instead of like straight up black socks. And I wonder if we should make them taller because that's kind of like black paw versus black sock. All right, and we'll come over here. Come here, buddy. And I'll give you this sock. There we go. And then we'll give you the back leg. Will be the same thing duplicated. There we go. And then the other back leg. Dun, 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 dun. Very nice. Okay, I'm hoping that counts as black socks. And then he's also got, um, let's see, going through it black tipped ears and a white chest. So let's see if I can find those bits and bobs to be able to add in with a new layer. And we're going for ears this time. So black tipped ears. There should be one that has like an ear option. There's like face. And if we need to, we can just snag. Let's see, ears, 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 is this ears? 
Yeah, there's the ears. All right. And now we can go ahead and give him black tipped ears. Oh, that's so nice. Look at all of that. Oh, I'm so excited. Those blue eyes are especially exciting. And then let's go ahead and we need to add in that white chest. So let's go ahead and make it a nice. Oh, you guys, look at him. I like him. Wow, so you're beautiful. Or should we do this kind of white chest? Oh, I think we should do this kind of white chest, you guys. That makes him really, really, really beautiful. All right, I think I'm very happy with how Soot has turned out. So we'll go ahead and pop back over. He should have his name, Soot Stray. He is an adult. We've got everything figured out on him, his nice voice. Perfect, all right, or should I say perfect, hmm? <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and make his little sister shade. Keeping in mind, this one is supposed to represent a apprentice. So we're going to go ahead and make a little apprentice this time. And she is actually going to be a tuxedo coat with white paws, white underbelly, and no facial markings, barring a smudge of white on her chin. She's small and dainty with long legs and a narrow face. Hmm. We might need to make her a little furrier, but already this has kind of uh, worked out for us. So this is going to be shade. And let's go down that list. So she's going to be a tuxedo coat, you guys. So we're going to pop over. And there should be like tuxedo coats already built in just like that, which is very helpful. And then let's give her more fur, like her brother. So the same kind of fur as her brother maybe. Uh, no facial markings barring a white smudge on her chin. So we're gonna clean up her coat in just a second here. This is really fun, I really love this. And in the future, we will be going a lot faster. We won't have to do the explanation intro that we did this time. Um, and let me see, where are the markings on the face? Yeah, we won't have to do the explanation intro that we did. So you guys don't have to worry. We won't be, um, we won't be going through that whole spiel about how to submit cats every time. I'll just direct people to the episodes. And then also, we will probably do little speed creations of our cats instead of going through one by one. But doing it like this right now is probably going to help you guys see all of the options and you can kind of talk through it. You can see all of the different choices that I can pick from for custom fur shades. What? I didn't even know about that custom fur shape. I had forgotten it. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so fun. I didn't even know that was there. So clearly going through it a little slower together kind of shows everything we can do and might give you guys better ideas of how we can create your cats in the future. So let's see. She has a white underbelly and no facial markings barring a smudge of white on her chin. So I wonder if she still has... Yeah, we'll leave that, that white on the chest because it probably counts as that white underbelly. I don't think I can actually get rid of the marking on her chin to be just like a smudge. I think it has to cover the whole jaw because of the way the game works. She's small and dainty with long legs and a narrow face. I kind of feel like that's what we've got right here. And then her fur is reasonably short with a feathered tail, not quite as grand as her brother's. So we can actually come over and we can shrink it down a little bit, but it is still a little bit poofier than it was before, so I like that. And then Shade is quiet and often distant, lost in her thoughts lots of the time. Uh, let's see, most cats often mistake her reclusive nature for being shy when she really just struggles to stay focused on the conversation at hand. She's blissfully unaware of any and all subtle hints that cats may drop her way, and will only notice or understand when blatantly told outright, which usually falls on the shoulders of her brother to do. Shade is naive about the world around her and has trouble recalling her past, having been sheltered by soot for the majority of her life. Her traits, clueless, quiet, and lazy, to reflect her, her malnutrition and lack of energy and vigor because of it. So, hmm, you guys, there's a good idea. We should probably change the traits of some of our cats as time goes on. All right, so I think she's pretty good. I feel like I kind of want to make her coat a little bit lighter for some reason. There we go. That actually helped a lot. And then let's go ahead and give her some of those bright, vibrant blue eyes that her brother has. It'd be really nice if I could just like copy their eye type. Um, but I think that would be a little bit tricky. Uh, in fact, let's go over to her brother. Sit, come here. Oh, geez, you're so handsome. <gasps> I love those eyes. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna look at his eyes. And no, 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 I didn't mean, oh my gosh, I can rotate his eyes. That's not what I meant to do, but hey, I know I can do that now. And we're actually going to take the main color of the body of his eyes. And we're gonna go over to his sister. Too bad you can't just save the eyes. But next time what we might do, and I think I wanna change her, her like body shape really quickly. Oh my, 
Maybe not that body shape. Um, let's see. I wonder. I just feel like her head needs to be a little different. Maybe that one? Long and lanky? I like that one better than whatever we had before. Though it's still a very interesting... Very interesting face. Let's see, forehead height. Let's see. Skull shape. Maybe pull it down a little bit. I want her jaw to be a bit bigger. So let's see if we can get the head scale. Interesting. Chin scale. Is it moving at all? <laughs> head shape exotic. No. Oh my goodness. You can really play with some of these things, guys. Let's shrink her head down a little bit and her flu make it a little smaller. I think that works. I think that works. I think it's because her fur is a little shorter that she looks a little bit more peculiar than her brother, but that's okay. All right, so soot and shade. Oh gosh, and yeah, I promise we will be doing like some of the speed builds of the cats in the future. Just this is the first one, so I thought we'd take it a little bit, a little bit slower to kind of do it together. All right, let's go down here. She's got those vibrant, beautiful eyes, and we are going to add in some of the color variation that her brother has too, just to really give it some detail. And doesn't that just like leap right out at you? I love that. What is, I want to change her jaw though. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, see how nice this is? I can do so many things. That's better. I think I needed her muzzle to be a little less pointed. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And the bridge of her nose down a little bit. There we go. I like her a lot. All right. So that is Soot. And here's Shade. And let's go ahead and make sure we got her personality put into place. So Shade, definitely a female. Wonderful. I think we'll give her a high-pitched voice. She is going to have as her traits, dun dun dun, the clueless trait. She is also going to have the quiet trait. And then just to let you guys know, these ones just leapt out at me this time. But we will be... Um, Normally we won't like read off the entire history of the cat and what I'll do is I'll put the overlay of the person's comment And then if you want to read like the whole backstory, we'll be able to do that, but I'm very happy So now we have got There we go soot and we have got shade. They look very unique I think I might make her fur, you know, she is kind of young so her fur could probably change over time That's also something we need to start doing with our cats as well is making it so that not only their traits But their fur can change over time. I think that that would be pretty fun to do with our warrior cats But all right, this actually took a lot longer than I thought So these two are going to be the only cats we add in this time Don't panic though. This was just a little slower to be able to show you guys all of the amazing options of cat variety uh, or, <laughs> I kind of wanted to make that a pun, but that'd be a bit of a reach. But all of the amazing options of the cat variety and the depth of customization that we'd be able to do. I really love creating these cats. I can't wait to share them with you. Like I said, I'm working on a website that we will be able to go to and you'll be able to download these cats and add them into your game. And don't worry, when that time comes, I will make a video explaining how to do that in the future too. But we now have Shade and Soot. I hope you guys will uh, welcome them into our Warrior Cats world. World, and we'll have to see if we run across this litter mate duo in the future And I will be hopefully making these create your cat little events at least once a week We won't have to do the whole explanation of how to submit a cat and all of that uh, From now on and we can just jump right into making your guys cats And we probably won't be like going through stories that are like this in depth in the future So we should get a lot of them made because with over 2,000 cats suggested Siri needs to start uh, Really really working to create them but I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to purposely make our season two and thereon of our Warrior Cats challenge uh, diving into a lot more kitty cat adventures, much more so than the books. We are going to have a lot more friendly, hostile, and neutral encounters with other cats just to make things a little bit more interesting and really keep a you know, a flow of story and characters coming from you guys to our clan cat stories. So just keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be really awesome. And we will be having, hopefully this weekend, the beginning of season two of the Warrior Cats Challenge. I really look forward to bringing it to you guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.